Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to upgrade M.2 NVMe SSD drive. All right, so here I have a larger drive, and the one here in my computer, it came with 256 gigabyte. As you can see, I already used about 76 gigabyte of storage, and I have remaining about 160. The only thing I have here in the laptop is only the 3D benchmark test and with the Windows 11 itself, it's already one third of the Pi is being used. All right, so I think the 256 gigabyte is too little for gaming because with the new games nowadays, it requires a lot of storage capacity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you guys through it on how to install M.2 NVMe SSD drive. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is to shut down the computer. And this is Lenovo Legion. Sorry, I think it's Lenovo IdeoPad Gaming 3, not a Legion computer. All right, once the computer is shut down, the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. This is what I got here. And just a quick reminder, there are two screws here in the front, or you can say in the in the back facing the laptop. You need to remove the two screws. Once you have done with that, the next step is to go ahead and remove the screws here on the top left corner. And then there's one here on the top right corner. screw in the middle left and right and there are four screws here at the very bottom the screws are not the same size so make sure you do not mix match the screw especially the one at the bottom and the top they are a lot shorter and then only the four screws are much longer here once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and get a slight opening here. So what I'm using is the metal prying tool. Go underneath that plastic cover. Just to get enough of the opening. And I'll be using a plastic prying tool to pry open the rest of the cover. Try not to stick it too deep because I do not want to damage the internal part of the computer. So just enough for you to get your finger underneath that cover. And be very careful with the side because the USB audio jack was still kind of stuck into the plastic cover. When you pulled it out, you do not want to yank the internal part of it. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to separate the cover here. By accident, I just push it back in. And there you go, you just gotta push it out. And it looks like there are two more screws here hidden, which I, I was not aware of that. I apologize in advance. And you actually have to remove the two screws, as well as the other one here. So I apologize in advance. I hope that you guys did not um, open up too hard and break it. Definitely you need to remove the two screws and this little plastic first. So I did remove the two screw in the beginning, but I forgot to remove or push it out to get this back cover. So I apologize. Uh, I did not know that was what you need to do at the very beginning. All right, once you have removed that, now uh, the next step is to identify where is the original 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe. Here is the one. Uh, they do not install the full size of it. They only install a small one here for you. Now they do have a secondary slot where you can add additional M.2 drive, 
which is on this side and again i like my c drive my program my games everything installed in the main m.2 so what you can do is i try to save this cover here if i if i may if i can all right so that is good leave it on the side get my phillips screwdriver go ahead and remove that screw and what I like to do is to disconnect the battery. Just go ahead and slide it down, disconnect the battery. And then remove the M.2. Now you're gonna ask me how I'm gonna install this because the original is such a small size compared to the regular size. Well, you can actually install here. Okay, if you want to do that. I do not think you can remove this and move it to the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if you can remove it to the back, but you can find online or Amazon for the uh, half the size of this, the, the, the same size of this M.2. All right, once you install, Okay, once you install with that one, the new larger M.2 drive, uh, pretty much your computer is halfway through the journey. It's not completed because you do not have Windows in that new drive. You follow me so far? But you do need to have the Windows to operate, right? So um, because it's the new drive, you don't have that, therefore the computer is going to say, Hey, there's no windows there's no bootable device what do you want me to do now uh, there is another way to work around it is you can clone the drive from this to that one okay i'll make a separate video on how to do the cloning um, but in this video i'm just strictly show you how you can add additional m.2 drive in your laptop now to move forward uh, just saying that if if you did the process you follow along up to this part here the journey the next step is you need to go ahead and finish up your uh, installation. So you're going to put everything back together like so, right? Again, do not forget the uh, the two screws here on the top left and top right corner, as well as two screw right in the middle. Once you're done with that, you're going to put this plastic cover, push it all the way back in, and then the remaining screw goes back on the back of it and two screws here on the very top. Now what I like to just kind of fast forward, I'm not going to do it um, over the video here, uh, but the point is what you want to do is you want to um, start up the computer and insert the USB to do the installation. So you're going to uh, get the cable here. I know that I disconnected the battery, but you can uh, plug this one in. You want to turn on the computer and then have this USB installer stick next to that USB port on the side here, okay? Once you have that, uh, it's going to do the um, installation process. Gonna walk you through what you wanna do with that. Uh, technically, it's gonna ask you, um, you know, install the Windows. So like I said, um, because there's no Windows install, you're gonna get this network media is not present, retry media, for one and two times. So default boot device missing or boot fail, uh, insert recovery media. This is pretty much what I was talking about that you need to start installing the windows back to your new hard drive. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, again, I just like to point out to you at the very uh, bottom in the description below, you can find the Amazon link. We direct you to Amazon uh, to buy the M.2 as well as the uh, installer file of this Windows. Okay, uh, if you have any question, comment down below. I know that it's very uncertain in this process. All I'm just talking about is how to take it apart, insert the new M.2 drive, but did not walk you through the process of, of installing the Windows. Again, this process of installing Windows is a, it's a long process. It's a separate, win, uh, separate video. I think you should watch um, separately, uh, I just wanted to directly point out how to upgrade the Ember 2 and check out the link down the description below where I'm going to do the cloning. Uh, you might be interested to clone from one 
hard drive the original to the ex the larger one so that all your windows your program everything stay the same uh, without changing anything so check out that cloning process and i hope this video is helpful and again thanks for watching until next time bye now